Hi there, I'm KSAT meteorologist Katie Blake. Hope you've had a great weekend. Thanks for stopping by for a forecast update on KSAT.com, your KSAT Weather Authority app, or on our YouTube channel. So it's been a warm and muggy weekend and feel a whole lot like fall at all out there, but we do have some changes coming this week by the middle of the week that will bring that fall feel back just in time for next weekend and Halloween. So here's what's going on. We've got a front that will be moving in from the Pacific Northwest, but we've also got a hurricane down on the southwestern coast of Mexico that will make landfall there on Monday. By Tuesday, the leftovers from that tropical system are likely going to toss us some increased cloud cover and a little bit of moisture that could result in some isolated rain by Tuesday, but I expect mainly on Tuesday we'll just see a lot more clouds and humidity will stay sky high. But look off to the west by Tuesday afternoon. Here comes our cold front. It will be working into West Texas by Tuesday night, approaching our area overnight. Tuesday into the pre dawn hours of Wednesday. We could have a couple of strong to severe storms with this front as it moves through, mainly north of San Antonio and north of Highway 90. The concerns with any strong to severe storms would be for some damaging wind gusts. So, an early chance of rain Wednesday, and then that front is out of here. But then the wind picks up. So as the rain and cloud cover clears out, we'll see our humidity drop, but our wind speeds are going to pick up big time by Wednesday afternoon all the way through Thursday. We could see some wind gusts as high as about 40 miles per hour with our sustained wind speeds roughly about 20 to 30 miles per hour, especially Wednesday. So by early Wednesday morning, you're going to want to make sure that all your Halloween lawn ornaments and decorations are secured because things certainly could go flying once those winds pick up Wednesday afternoon. Now the good news behind this front is that once the winds settle down by Thursday night and Friday, we've got a beautiful stretch of weather heading into next weekend and Halloween. Right now, trick or treating forecast is looking good. We'll be tweaking it for you over the next few days, but we expect the low humidity and mostly clear skies to hang around through Sunday evening for trick or treating. Mike Osterhage will have the very latest on this busy forecast tomorrow morning for you on Good Morning San Antonio. GMSA begins at 4:30 a.m. Good night.